As incoming freshmen, you're probably wondering what your residential halls will look like. Maybe you haven't seen the rest halls yet, or you just need a refresher before coming to DC in August. So today, I will give you a tour showing you what your new home is going to look like. This is McReynolds Hall, also known as the Freshman Hall. And we're in the main lobby right now. There's pool tables, ping pong tables, computers, printers, a sitting area, a flat screen TV, and vending machines. On to the halls. The doors to get in are always locked. Students living in this building have to use their student ID to get into their rooms. So make sure you don't leave without it. Every night, security begins at 8 p.m. to monitor who goes in and out of the building. Also, there's two RAs on staff every night to make sure it's all good. For extra security, the doors in the back, front, and side lock at midnight, and so you have to come in the front using your ID to get in. The rooms in McReynolds are customizable. All rooms are double occupancy with two movable beds and desks and a giant built-in closet that has two dresser drawers on each side and two areas for hanging your clothes and plenty of space above for storage. Beds can also bunk or move around to create more space. Some students bring chairs or small fridges and microwaves. McReynolds also has a kitchen on the first floor, which includes a stove, a microwave, table, and chairs. McReynolds also has recently updated washers and dryers, which are free to use. While we're talking about cleaning, DC also has a recycling program, which provides you a bag and picks up your recyclables weekly. That's all the time I have for you today. If you have any more questions, check out defines.edu and click on that ResLife tab. Or you can call any admissions counselor. They're always here to help.